Hey guys, good morning and welcome to another vlog. My name is Cece. For those of you who don't know, we talk about our corporate careers and productivity on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. <laughs> you guys what is up I did not vlog at all last week and I just felt I felt really off so your girl's a new woman this week I'm gonna give you guys some updates when we get in the car I have to get the girls out the door for the bus but y'all look at this room Woo! we got some things to do today all right today is the day before vacation so I leave for Cancun for our wedding in less than 24 hours at this point and so I still have a few things to do a few things to pack a few things to pick up um yeah some errands to run some things to clean you know there's there's all that last minute packing stuff to do so um you got, I'm gonna take you guys through my to-do list with me today and we're gonna do that we're gonna be uber productive I also have a like one or two things to finish up for work that I just don't want to leave for over a week um so I'm gonna try to do that as well so can we get it all done? I guess we'll see. Like I said, I have a ton of like little updates for you guys as well. I feel like I've been walking around like a bum for the longest. If y'all can't tell, I got my lashes done again. My lash extensions back. My nails got done yesterday. I got a pink and white set. Definitely look like bridal nails to me. So very excited about that. And um, yeah. Just so many things going on. So I will let you guys in on that. Like I said, when we get in the car, but we have to go to Target. We have to go to UPS and do we got to go anywhere else? Of course, Starbucks, but you know, that's a given. So hello, welcome to the vlog. Subscribe if you have not and let's get started. Man, it is like coming down out here. It goes in and out. Like it'll stop, slow down raining, then it'll start pouring again. Slow down raining, then it'll start pouring again. And it's supposed to rain for like the next 24 hours. I am just hoping and praying that it is not raining a whole lot when we're due to get up in the air tomorrow. I don't think I've ever been on a plane when it's raining. Maybe once or twice, but that is really not my cup of tea. The turbulence and stuff. I'm gonna be with four kids. I'm, you know, I'm gonna be with my family. That's not my cup of tea. So I hope it's not like raining like crazy um, in the morning when we leave. Our flight leaves at 5.44 a.m. So very, very early. So I'm just, fingers crossed that's not the case. But anyway, just some fun updates. One, I'm smiling all the way. Can you tell? Can you, what's my update? Y'all know. Y'all already know if you've been watching. Um, I finally got my tooth fixed last week. Finally, finally, finally got my tooth fixed last week. And I am so excited about it that I can smile again. Um, it was a little sore all weekend. So yesterday was the first day. It was not sore. Did I tell you guys what day it was? It's, it's Monday, September 26th is what it is. And so I got it fixed on Thursday. And look, it's an implant. You can't even tell. Um, <clears throat> it only cost me about a year of my time and like a year's salary. But you know, you know, you know. And that's what it is. We got the tooth fixed, right? So I'm really excited about that. And like I told you guys, I got my nails done yesterday. I got my toes done. I got my lash extensions back. I'm like, man, I've been, I've been bumming around all summer. I feel like a new woman. I feel like myself again, right? I gave my lash extensions a little break just because, you know, I, I just had them for a while and I was like, let's just give it a little break. Plus my girl that I was going to was having issues and she was getting on my nerves if y'all remember so <clears throat> I gave it a little break but now we're back I actually found a new girl so I'm hoping she was so good so professional had me in and out of there so I'm hoping she continues like that um so I'll be going to her from now on but I'm just I love my lashes man it makes you feel like you don't need to put on a whole bunch of makeup right so yeah I love my lashes but yeah, I'm just ex I'm excited. I'm so excited to head to Cancun. Um, we are, like I said, headed there in the morning. It's Monday. The ceremony is on Thursday. So um, I'm just, I'm so excited. I can't believe this is finally here and we're getting ready to go. 
and I have just been waiting on this forever so <laughs> obviously we've been waiting on this for over a year we've been planning this for over a year and it's here and we're, we're headed out the kids are so excited Mark and I are so excited just to get off the city for a minute and kind of chill out for the week but I feel like this week is gonna go by so fast like we're gonna be home before you know it seriously but just grateful to be able to go happy to be able to go and um to see our plans kind of come to fruition that's pretty cool okay anyway we are going to target because i need to get my daughter some new deodorant and then i also wanted to grab her like a small thing a facial moisturizer my eight-year-old she um she like breaks out a little bit and i think what's been helping is to keep her face moisturized and so um keep her face moisturized and to make sure that she is washing her face properly um after especially after like all her practices and stuff so i do have her a, a face wash actually do i have her a small face wash for the travel i don't know so i'm just gonna pick up another one and then a small face moisturizer plus um she needs some deodorant some new deodorant yeah that's what we're doing <laughs> all right so we're about to stop at starbucks of course but y'all i feel like i really want to get some of that taco bell breakfast am i gross maybe how are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Good, thank you. Can you get for you? But yeah, I was saying, I think I'm going to stop at Taco Bell and get a Taco Bell breakfast. Y'all, um, so I'm always telling y'all not to skip Monday workouts, right? Well, your girl is skipping her workout today, and I can't lie, I'm kind of excited about it, right? Um, I, I have been working out like crazy for this trip, y'all, and I realized that yesterday I jumped on the scale I am 19 pounds down from April like what I have never lost that amount of weight and I have so many tips and tricks to share with you guys so I think I'm gonna just do a whole video on how I lost hopefully it'll be 20 pounds uh, by then but I think I'm just gonna do a whole video on how I lost 20 pounds and um, I'll share all of my tips and tricks and what finally worked for me because if you guys have been watching me you know I have struggled with trying to lose weight for years right and not even a lot of weight just a little bit of weight and I I mean I know some of what I was doing wrong I, I know I wasn't doing all the right things but I feel like I have finally found a sustainable just a sustainable system for myself and I cannot wait to share that with you guys because I'm so proud of myself and I'm so excited about it I have so much more confidence in my body and I feel so much better and I still have a ways to go but I just feel so much better about myself and like I want to shout that to everybody seriously I find that funny that I say that as I'm talking about scarfing down Taco Bell breakfast skipping workouts and uh, <laughs> and drinking a Starbucks sugary drink but you know what you have to treat yourself and I think that's part of what's worked for me seriously all right when this drink comes out this is like all I swear this is like all I drink when this um, fall drink comes out like this year and last year this has been seriously my drink of choice and I don't even get anything else like before I was addicted to the white chocolate mochas made the way I you know I was having them make it but now if it ain't apple crisp oat milk, I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay. Mm. 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 Oh yeah, she's good. Target opens at 8 a.m., don't they? This car is out here. I'm pretty, yeah, there's people walking in, okay. Cause it's only 8.45. <clears throat> Look at me, on vacation, you got kids, you still gotta get up early. Don't matter.
Okay, just left on the Target. I got out and then I had to go back because I realized that I didn't get the box. Okay, this ain't gonna work. Why is this like this? I ain't gonna work either. We gotta move to a different spot because I'm right in the sun and it looks terrible. Yeah, I'm right in the sun. Okay, we're gonna move to a different spot real quick. Yeah, I walked right out of there and I was like, ooh, I did really good, like shopping. I was like, oh my God, I did really, really good. Um, like I only spent $53, so that is a good trip in my book, right? And I was like, I got everything I wanted off the list. I only spent $50. And then as soon as I said that, I was like, oh shit, I didn't get the moving box. Um, so I had to go back in there and grab that, but I got it. Go ahead, sir. I got it and um, now we can go do what we need to do at home. I might just show y'all, I'll just show y'all what I got at home. We're definitely going to spin around Taco Bell though and get some breakfast and then I'll show you guys what I got from Target at home. It was only a few things but I found some like interesting, some interesting things that I want to show you guys that I had never seen before. So. Um, we'll talk about those when we get home and start cleaning up because I need to start cleaning up that filming room because I want to get a couple videos filmed before I leave and then I'll have something to like edit on the plane and stuff like that and I'll have videos ready for next week so that's the plan let's get home well let's get our food and then let's get home Okay y'all, so we got back home from Target and I just thought I'd show you guys some of the stuff that we got. Um, and then we're gonna start cleaning up this room because this room is atrocious. Like it is absolutely ridiculous how this room looks. So we're gonna make sure we clean that up before we get out of here and I'm gonna do that now. But I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I ended up purchasing because they had a lot of good stuff like on sale get out of here they have a lot of good stuff on sale so <sighs> let me show y'all so I showed you guys in the store because I thought this was just such a novel idea I had never seen these but these are the 100% dissolvable pouches zero waste body wash sheets and it's plus so it comes with 10 sheets and this is the coconut and jasmine and this is what it looks like and i just thought this was such a great idea um like great for travel so it says with dry hands you open the sachet plus remove the body wash square dissolve empty sachet under water oh so the packet dissolves and then you wet the body wash square and work into a lather using your hands or your favorite loofah is what it says so the packet oh the packaging even dissolves that's pretty cool let me see what it looks like so that's why you have to open it with dry hands because this thing apparently dries or dissolves under water that's crazy I feel like I want to take a few of these on vacation now like I want to pack some and see how they work but it comes with 10 in the pack Oh, it smells really, really good. So that is really nice. I like that. And then if you take these like on vacation, you don't have anything to bring back with you because everything dissolves and it's perfectly eco-friendly. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I got that. Then they had sunscreen on clearance and obviously we're going to be in the sun. So I ended up just picking up another sunscreen for the kids. This is the Up and Up brand um, SPF 50 and it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes. So I think I'm just going to toss this in one of our bags. I had another one that I was bringing, but I'm going to go ahead and just bring this one and I'll just toss it into one of our bags. I also picked up, I told you guys my daughter needed some new deodorant. So this is the secret pH balance powder scent. It came in a two pack and I think I need some new deodorant too, or I will soon. So I can also use the other one. I got this um, Miel Organics. This is an edge gel and my girls have braids for the trip. So 
um, they're definitely going to need some edge gel, especially seeing as how they're going to be in water all week. So I picked that up. I have never tried this edge control, so I'm hoping it is a firm edge control. Um, yeah, I've never tried this. And this is also supposed to be strengthening for your edges. My eight-year-old has this thing, and she's been doing it since she was a baby, where she like twists and pulls on the edges of her hair and I try to get her to stay out of it she just refuses but she twists and pulls it and her edges look like crap because of it and I, she just like can't help herself so this is infused with biotin and encourages hair growth on your edges so I really want to try this on her and this was on clearance so I got that and then I also told you guys I wanted to pick up a cleanser and a um, skin lotion for her to take with her, like a small travel size. So I picked up these little Cetaphil bottles and I got the Gentle Skin Cleanser. She's only eight, so I don't like to get anything that's like too abrasive or just too strong. So I always try to get gentle formulas for her. And then I got the moisturizing lotion, the normal normal to sensitive skin so she can put both of those on her face and they should work just fine Cetaphil is such a gentle um it's such a gentle mild kind of minimal bare cleanser and I don't know why I don't use Cetaphil more um but I, I feel like it's just that like bare cleanser and if you do have sensitive skin if you need something more gentle I feel like Cetaphil is really really good for that so I got that stuff then I just picked up oh then I just picked up three pair of pants for my two-year-old I got him his first little pair of skinny jeans so I'll see how he looks in them daddy don't like skinny jeans so we'll see um, how he looks in these but I did get him a pair of these cute little skinny jeans I got him some joggers he's wearing a 2t now y'all he's so big but I got him some joggers and then I also got him these pair of pants right here. We had him some khaki ones like this last year. So I love these. Not to mention, if you have kids, this is good stuff to know. Um, you always want to get the pants with the reinforced knee because the kids, the kids will put holes in the knee of their pants like nobody's business, right? My daughters go through leggings like crazy. So um, definitely the reinforced knee helps and they seem to last longer than the non-reinforced knee. So that's my little target haul and yeah that's my little target haul so we are going to now start to clean up this nasty nasty room film a video actually and I wanted to that's too big I'm about to film a video and I wanted to do my makeup but I wanted to show you guys I want to do it with you because I want to show you guys this new foundation well I want to see it too because this is going to be my first time trying it also I gotta do something with this hair but yeah it's going to be my first time trying this foundation it is the Patrick Ta 
Patrick Ta for Face Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. And it looks like this. I love the Patrick Ta products, so I'm really excited about it. And if you open it up, it comes with the foundation and it also comes with the finishing powder. Now, I don't know why the finishing powder is so much more light skin than the foundation. I got mine in the shade Tan 1. So I'm hoping this looks good and um, I ain't gonna have to redo my makeup for this video. Okay, so it has the little cover over the cream product. So you get the cream and then you get the finishing powder. So we're gonna try this out and see how it works. I'm so excited about it because I love Patrick Ta's products overall, love the packaging, and I love a good cream foundation. So I've already primed my face. I ended up using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Primer. Absolutely love this primer. It's so good and it's drugstore, obviously. So now we are going to use the cream foundation and I just have a brush here and I'm gonna brush it on and then I'm gonna pat it in with my beauty sponge so let's it's actually the perfect color can you even see that you can barely see that it is like the perfect shade wow okay okay It's really creamy I thought it was gonna be like drier but it's actually really creamy sorry y'all my mirror is like down here so I'm looking down here I'm gonna show y'all in natural light when I'm done too but it's like super creamy I feel like I only need one layer look at it, it looks pretty good Like seriously, that is beautiful. Wow. Let's put on a little bit more. I don't even know why I'm putting on a little bit more. I think just to see how it layers because it actually looks really good right here. Let's just do a little bit more. random you guys so I have to remember now that I can smile super big because I got my tooth fixed and so I still find myself like mm, like I've been doing that for like a year you guys so I still find myself doing that because I didn't want to show that I didn't have a tooth and I, I have to remind myself no you can smile now <laughs> like seriously how gorgeous oh my god Oh, I am impressed. We gotta see how it wears, but that may be a new favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal using the Anastasia Concealer. You guys know this is one of my faves. All right, now for the powder, let me see. I feel like this is almost a better powder for underneath the eyes because it's so light skin. Um, like it even comes off light skin on the brush. I don't, I feel like this is gonna be, can you see that? There we go. I feel like this is gonna be better for under the eyes. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. Yeah, because it's not a powder foundation. It's just a finishing powder. So it's not like it's a powder foundation. <sighs> Even though that made my under eyes look so flawless. Oh my God.
That made my under eye look super flawless, y'all. And I kind of want to see what it looks like on the whole face. Oh my God, my face looks poreless. I almost want to throw this in my vacation bag at this point. My face looks poreless. Like it almost looks like I have a filter on my face. Wow. I seriously, I kind of want to throw this in my vacation bag. I gotta see how it wears though. Let's, let's, before we, um, before we get crazy, let's see how it wears. Cause I'm already like getting ready to propose to this foundation, right? Just from this, I don't even have my full face done. Like I just got this done and I'm about ready to be like, yes, honey, that foundation is everything. Okay, let's, let's bronze up real quick. I wanna use this L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Bronzer. Yeah, Cece's about ready to marry this foundation. Mm, mm, mm. This is gorgeous. Let's use this e.l.f. blush in Always Spicy. I'm really mad Target didn't have my shade in that, that e.l.f. Halo Glow. I want to try that so bad. I don't know why I just haven't ordered it, but I just haven't. But I might just have to go ahead and do that. This was like the quickest little makeup look. For highlighter, I'm gonna use this Fenty highlighter. This is the Kilowatt Highlighting Duo in Afternoon Snack and Mo Money. And that looks like that. I've used that a million trillion times. I just mix both shades. And then give myself a little glow. So I'll choose the lip product when I get closer to filming. I'll probably film in about, I don't know, maybe about 30 minutes. I just need to get some things set up in here. But that foundation, y'all, let's, let's talk about it. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll link all the products that I use down below so you guys can see them. Um, so you can check out this foundation at Sephora. But right now, honey, and for reference, I have oily combo to oily skin it's getting more to the combo side because the weather's getting cooler so i don't have to worry about it as much it is currently 211 so i'm going to try to keep this foundation on for the rest of the day and we'll see how it wears the rest of the day but it's giving me life right now honey it's giving me life what's up y'all so i just wanted to give you a quick update on what we're looking like it is currently 610 so we've had this foundation on for about four hours i have not touched up or done anything like that and this is where we are i think it still looks good um there is a few like small oily spots it doesn't look oily it just looks like worn in and kind of broken in i'm seriously thinking about just going ahead and throwing this in my travel bag because you guys um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed right now. Like seriously, the lighting is going in and out. Darn it. Sorry y'all. The lighting's like going in and out, but okay, that's a little better. I am pretty impressed right now with how everything looks, how everything is holding up. It's like, it's, it's making me gag right now. I'm going to just do a small touch up. I'm going to take the powder from the compact. And I'm just gonna, just a little bit, just touch up the hot spots. Y'all know where the hot spots are. The nose, the forehead. For me, sometimes the brows and the chin. And then I'll put the excess on like the cheeks. I'm just doing a little touch up, but I think that looks so good. I am so impressed. I don't know what I was expecting when I saw he came out with this I was really wanting to try it and I don't know what I was expecting but I am pretty darn impressed right now yeah I am I really am okay all right so 
Um, it's six o'clock for the rest of the night. I really just need to focus on finishing straightening up and making sure that I have everything packed in my carry on. I'll show you guys everything that I bring with me on the plane, but I really just need to focus on kind of straightening up the house. So the kitchen and the master bath are my two main focuses. And then just making sure my bedroom is nice and clean for when we come back. You know, I'll be ready to get in my own bed and I just want a nice clean clear space so that is what i'm going to be doing for the next several hours and um obviously i'm going to wrap this up and all of that this makeup um review up and all of that so um yeah let's go finish tackling this to-do list right come on okay y'all so um so go. it's a little later go. and um go. we are actually about to polish go. nails not me go. Me and Mark went and got our nails done yesterday. Mommy. Get down. Mommy. But I'm going to polish Mommy. the girl's nails with some Mommy. gel nail colors that I got. I can't remember if they sent me these or if I purchased them, but I have the shade Be My Baby from Nail Addict. I have the shade, um, what shade is this? Never Been So Chic. So that one looks like that. You guys are getting a real life look of what this house looks and feels like every night, okay? I also have Marry Me, which is perfect. Yeah. Those are the base and top coats. Those aren't colors, sweetie. Oh, what is this? One goes at the bottom, one goes at the top. Okay, let me see your nails. What are you doing? I'm filming. This one's filming TikToks. What, what is happening here? Hi, guys. Sorry. About to get a nail done. I'm just gonna use my sister stand that I got. Mommy! 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 What? A basketball. A basketball? Wait. Three! One! Go. I think it's the. Oh, you missed. Three! One! So, I'm gonna try to do them. Hi, Mom. Hi. Now we're about to get started. We gotta put more earrings in here. up y'all so I'm sitting in my closet trying to get some quiet and I was going to go over what's in my carry-on with you guys so sorry for the lighting but it's what we're dealing with okay so not my carry-on my personal item for the plane I'm using this backpack right here it's a TSA approved 17 inch backpack it's a laptop backpack but it's also like a suitcase ish kind of so literally if you were going somewhere for the weekend this would probably fit everything like it is the biggest backpack I've ever seen but it's also like compact right so I'll link it down below I got it from Amazon it's perfect so this is all the stuff that I'm gonna travel with actually on the plane right first thing well I'm actually I think I'm gonna put this in my I'm gonna slip this in my suitcase but this is like a little flat wireless charger and the nice thing about this guy, I use it every day because I have it on my nightstand, but it charges my cell phone. So it just like lifts up here and it charges my cell phone wirelessly. It charges my Apple Watch and then on the back here, it charges AirPods as well. So it's a three in one charger and it's just a super flat little guy. So you only have to bring one charger for all of your like Apple devices, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to pack that tonight. I'm also going to be traveling with a little travel pillow because that's necessary. I have, I'm doing this like to make sure I have everything too. Y'all helping me out for real. I have gum for myself and the kids just in case, you know, ears start to pop, all of that. We have a, oh, of course, a lip balm 
for in the air I should bring some eye masks for in the air but I have a lip balm and then I have an extra camera battery what you looking at I have my little Louis Vuitton pouch in here and this um, pouch just has some more gum it has my airpods in here my airpods pro i have a little bit of cash like just i think it's just like 11 dollars or so just a little bit of cash and then i just have my little louis vuitton wallet and it has my id and my debit card in there so i wanted to make sure that was accessible now when i open it up like i said it's kind of like a little luggage because the way it opens up it doesn't just open at the top it opens like this like a suitcase right so that's how it opens this thing is not super full so I don't have a whole lot of stuff in here I have this like little chest strap this is for the GoPro in case we go on any excursions or anything like that um, this bag is just filled with like charging bricks another charging cable a GoPro battery my um my beats headphones and yeah just some like chargers and stuff like that i have one pair of sunglasses for when we touch down and it's going to be super sunny um chips for the baby baby's water bottle that he's gonna need and then I have this lululemon belt bag this is actually just gonna stay on me on my chest but this is housing all of our um, passports so oh, I got some change in here I do it's feel like a quarter oh no it's play food from having kids yeah so <laughs> I have all of our passports in here so they are easily accessible as we are like walking through the airport so I'm gonna keep that belt bag on me along with a little mini tripod I have my satin pillowcase for the hotel I always bring a satin pillowcase and then I have some playing cards the psychology of money just a book that i want to finish on the plane that i've been trying to finish forever and then a notebook to take any notes jot down any video ideas real ideas anything like that so i feel like there's already a lot of crap in here but it also has a back like laptop pocket back here and my macbook pro is going to go in this pocket along with um i have some hand wipes just you know to wipe things down they can be used for your hands or for messes and then i have my ipad pro as well so that is all i'm traveling with and we're about ready to go it is 10 11 p.m we have our alarm set for 2 30 in the morning like i said our plane leaves at 5 45 and we're about 40 minutes from the airport we also have to stop off um, to my parents house so um, yeah we have our <laughs> our alarm set for 2:25 in the morning so about four hours from now so that will be a super fun wake up the entire family is still up everyone is just uber excited and ready to go and I I can't believe this is here I can't believe we're doing this if you guys want to see vlogs from um, the trip of course we have our family vlog channel Bradley party of six it's always linked below the vlogs will be posted over there I will be posting little moments on my Instagram um, like stories and reels and stuff like that I mean this video is gonna come out after the trip but you know I'll be posting things so that's why you gotta make sure you follow me on Instagram so you get all the real time tea okay um let me I'm gonna go in the bathroom right here and I'm going to turn on the light so you guys can see the face and what it's looking like what is this this is about eight hours in you guys can see what this makeup is looking like and then I'll let you go so this is what we look like up close and personal this is the foundation let's give it a little moment I feel like it held up so well y'all it held up so well I only touched up that one time when I talked to you guys I think that was at like four or something but look how we look 
all day eight hours of wear this foundation deserves an applause I mean I feel like I'm going to be using this every day this deserves an applause not only is it amazing it's easy to apply because it's a cream foundation you can just kind of slap it on there honestly I feel like a cream foundation is so much easier to work with than a liquid um, I used to be afraid of cream foundations but I love them now and it's a whole vibe like I am totally 100% recommending this again I have oil to oily to combo skin so I don't know how it would work on dry skin but on my oily to combo skin it is beautiful like oh my god Patrick Patrick knew what he was doing let me tell you wow Oh my god you guys have to let us know down below if you have tried this foundation or if you are going to try it now because I am in love this is the perfect shade for me the powder was amazing even though I thought it was too light skin it actually wasn't the powder was amazing and I think it's an overall good product I'll give it like a 9 out of 10 like and I, you don't get much better than that okay so if you're looking for a new foundation to try would definitely recommend obviously I'll keep using and if something comes up I will let you guys know in one of the vlogs but for right now this is it this is it for me we love her we love a good foundation moment honey my skin literally still looks poreless I mean I'm gonna get real up close and personal with y'all hold on look at that besides the the oiliness here my skin still looks pretty poreless. I mean, it's pretty flawless. And I got y'all up close and personal, honey. Oh yeah, I'm here for it. All right, y'all. So that's going to be the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully you found this vlog helpful and entertaining for you. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.